So I'm definitely in the habit of unloading the dishwasher in the evenings now, which is really bad because I always wanted it to be a morning thing. So you guys will have to let me know down in the comments whether you run your dishwasher at night and like to unload in the morning or if that just doesn't happen for you guys because lately it's been a really bad habit of mine that I just can't seem to get it done in the mornings anymore. So we're starting out in the kitchen. I'm just going to finish unloading the dishwasher. I'm gonna clean the sink out and wipe down the counters in here. We're going to be cleaning the bathroom rooms and some other spaces in the house and you're not going to want to miss the end of the video because I'm including a super delicious air fryer dessert recipe that we tried the other night and trust me when I say that you guys will thank me if you have an air fryer and if you have kids they will absolutely love the dessert too so stick around till the end so you don't miss it. a friend that was coming to stay at my house for just a couple of days over the weekend and I didn't really have a lot of time after work to just kind of get my house in order and straightened up so genuinely when I film power hours a lot of times it is a true hour and I got so much done in this hour it's amazing how much you can get done when you put your mind to it and I feel like there are certain things that I will always try and do when I have just a little bit of time to clean and this bathroom sink is definitely one of them I feel like I wipe this sink down at least two or three times a week because it is the only current sink that I have in any bathroom in my house so it gets completely wrecked. decorated for Valentine's Day but I wouldn't really call it full out Valentine's Day I just kind of did some updating of the decor in the bathroom here and a little bit in the kitchen and the living room so if you guys missed that video and you want to see how I added some of these little touches to my bathroom and living room then definitely be sure to check out that video I'll link it down below
course I had to include some laundry in this video too because I had a mountain high and I needed to do towels before my guests came and then I also had just regular clothes and stuff to do too so I did end up tackling the rest of the laundry just not on camera so you can give a little silent cheer for me that I was able to catch up on all my laundry. I know all my mom friends can relate because laundry is genuinely a never ending task and I've been keeping all my laundry down here in the laundry room now instead of up in my bedroom and I really like it because I don't have to stare at it anymore when I'm in my room but now I just have to stare at it in the laundry room so either way it's just a big pile somewhere or somewhere else. <laughs> room and thankfully I had already cleaned the sheets and the bed was pretty much ready to go so that is always a plus I feel like sometimes when I have guests come over I just kind of leave the old sheets on the bed and not wash them right away and then if I have an unexpected person have to stay I'm like oh wait let me wash the sheets really fast so I was glad that I was prepared <laughs> but now I'm just gonna give the living room a quick vacuum this carpet because it's so light colored it just shows every bit of dust and dirt and I have a little bit of flocking on that tree over there in the corner that I need to clean up for some reason the kitten has been chewing on it like crazy and every time I catch her I spray her but then inevitably when I'm not looking she just spreads it all over the floor so I guess that's just what it's like being a pet owner right <laughs> Guys, it's time for that air fryer dessert recipe I promised you at the beginning of the video and we are making fried Oreos so I went with double stuffed Oreos you could use any kind that you like I would really like to try this with the flavored the different flavored ones and then I also used a tube of the Pillsbury dough sheet I did do this one day last week with the ones that are already pre-cut into triangles I did not like it as much as I liked using the dough sheet just because with this you're able to cut your different sections and cut your dough into the perfect size and I don't really like a lot of dough with my fried Oreos so I actually wrapped up half of it and put it back in the fridge so we can always make some more later but you're gonna want to stretch out the dough just a little bit and then cut it into the number of sections for how many Oreos you're gonna make I could not eat more than two or three of these they are incredibly rich so I just made four for Jack and I to have and then we had two others that we had already made the other night that I'm gonna actually reheat in the air fryer that's another tip if you're gonna reheat them definitely reheat in the air fryer and not in the microwave otherwise they get pretty soggy but it's super easy you're just gonna wrap the Oreos in the dough once you've cut it out and I'm just letting the warmth from my hands kind of like mold the dough around the cookie and again you can decide how much dough to cookie ratio you want I don't really like as much dough so this is how I did it and then if you need to spray your air fryer um, I would recommend doing that these did stick a little bit I don't normally spray my air fryer but the next time that I make these I will probably end up spraying mine and then you want to make sure that they are separated in the air fryer basket you don't want to stack them on top of each other otherwise they'll stick together um, as they're cooking so I'm just putting mine in one flat row and if you had a divider you could probably get more than four in here but like I said more than four would probably be too many to eat and then I'm gonna set my um, air fryer at 350 degrees for about five minutes I did read in one of the recipes that you can um, flip them and then cook them again for like another two minutes it's really up to you depending on how crispy or how cooked you want them this is the color that mine turned out so they were just like a nice golden brown I don't know that I'd want them any darker than that and then I'm putting the other two that were already cooked just back in the air fryer for two minutes on a really low heat just to warm them up a little bit and then while those 
um, cookies are cooling, you can get your powdered sugar out if you want to. This is of course optional, it just adds a little bit of extra sweetness. To me, it kind of reminds me of a funnel cake, but I put a lot of powdered sugar on it because I thought they looked so pretty. But this is how they turned out. They are super pretty looking and they're also so delicious. Mm -hmm.